Well, it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship. He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They're confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by Nancy. UFC Hall of Famer Khabib Nurmagomedov getting back on the proven ground here tonight. And a new look corner, is that Hasbula in there? Yeah, I mean, Hasbula is in the corner with Habib. Habib loves him. He's always talking about him. He spends time with him. But the one thing is, while Hasbula is there, Khabib Nurmagomedov's approach will not change. This guy is an absolute grinder, man. He is just a dog. He will go forward, get in your face, hit him, you will not deter Habib Nurmagomedov from accomplishing the ultimate goal, and that's keeping that zero on the right side of his record. And if you're Javier Mendez, you just got to make sure that you let Hasbula get in there between rounds. Little guy's <laughs> got a lot to say. <laughs> Khabib Nurmagomedov has graced the octagon. He is ready to fight. Or tear up the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, the... And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle, Mimago Meta! Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Good. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in the main division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Too easy, Khabib Nurmagomedov gets the early takedown. Opposition knew it was coming, unable to stop it as usual. Well, he'll tell you. He'll tell you that he's going to take you down, and he has so many ways of getting to that takedown. He's as good as they come in terms of setting him up, and right away he gets to fight exactly where he needs it to be. Oh, in the ball! He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Nurmago Medov's back inside control. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC, working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. That was a slick transition. Big ground and pound. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motion on the mat. 
Both guys are proven to land there. Nurmagomedov going for the takedown here. Nothing doing there. Big punch position. Watch him start to hang. Try to gas with him now by hanging his head. Tags him with the uppercut. And now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Oh, nice elbow. Look at the control of the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Again, shoots for a takedown. Not there once again. What a great job getting that kick to the target. He's back in the clinch. Three minutes. Boom, hockey plans. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, missed on that one. Counters with a left punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting. Oh, nice bubble leg guys. Beautiful transition. Great posture to win that nasty elbow. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Nurmagomedov's trying to lock up on a submission now. Ooh, this could be it. That thing is tight. Now I'm trying to beat. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow. That is great submission defense. Back to his feet. Under two minutes to go here in round one. Oh, could be in trouble after that game to the head. Right hook to the head block. Denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. He does a great job getting out of that clutch position. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do, eventually it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. That punch, no good. Defensive here early, very aggressive right out of the shoot. He is linked. We'll see if he tries to change levels here. Trips his opponent with the ankle pick. An ankle pick takedown. We're so used to seeing singles, doubles, high crotches. When an ankle pick is hit, you applaud the guy doing the technique. Ten seconds to go in the round. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh. Round two next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn. What a round it was, DC. And of course, the seminal moment, that big knockdown that nearly got his opponent out of there for good. Almost finished the fight, but now he needs to reset, right? Don't rush. Go right. back out to the next round and just try to find that shot again. If he rushes, if he overexerts himself, he will run out of energy and put himself at risk of losing the fight. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to, to put his opponent down. Ready. Round two on the road. Nice right hand from Khabib Nurmagomedov. DC, we talk so much about the wrestling and the grappling, you can't sleep on Nurmagomedov's boxing move. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. A nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. 
now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Mago Maddox bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Nice shot to the body. Oh, nice. Nice takedown. He's got to be careful here. Oh, that is a high-level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Got to watch his deck. Oh, tense moment here. That arm triangle is tight. He's got it locked in. What? Oh, oh, he got out. What good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Oh, he puts his knee on belly. And it looks as though he'll let his opponent stand up here. Yes, he will. All right, so another takedown for the wrestler. He hinted that he wanted to strike here tonight, but sticks with the bread and butter, and it's working. The bread is buttered, so why would you not eat it? This guy is doing exactly what we have come to expect from him. He goes forward, he level changes, and he takes you down. Once you're on the ground, he grinds you out. This is a wrestler's call apart, and he is showing you why tonight in the octagon. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. He's having his way with him here. Khabib's in half guard. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. All right, so yet another ground and pound strike lands right there, DC. He's getting very active now that he knows he can land these strikes. Nurmago Medov's right back to the full mount here. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And not only does he have the triangle, if his opponent circles the wrong way, he can even attack an arm bar. This is a very big advantage position for this fighter. Two minutes to go. Oh, pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Oh. his head here on the ground, champ. I mean, this guy is very active off of his back, and it helps him to evade those strikes. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. Man, the takedowns have come in bunches tonight, and there is another one. That was his strategy coming in. Oh, now he's attacking North Triangle. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. And he's back up. That's a nice strike here by Mago You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Ali. But you better be very weary of his stand-ups. He's developing the skill every single day. That's how you defend the single leg. Oh, the hook lands. Gets to the single collar tie. Look for him to drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hand. Beautiful entry as he gets the takedown late in the round, too, which could have an impact on the judges' potential. Absolutely. You want to leave an impression in the judges' mind. And when you walk back to your corner, you get up from a dominant position. You almost want to wave at the judges and say, I got it done. Right. All right, that'll do it for that round. Nurmago Medov's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues.
Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target, and his opponent opened up a nasty cut on him. He has got to move his head to limit the damage that he's taking. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, then a left. for another takedown here, and it's the setups too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shot. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fuck you hurt him again, Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the feet. I mean, when you don't check, you're gonna continue to get blasted with kicks. His opponent has not deserved keeping on throwing those kicks. In the half guard. There it is, now he's going to mount. He's gotta be careful here. Lands a big elbow there. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nurmago Medov. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. Oh, he's got his back. And now he's going to start looking to attack the neck and get the rear naked choke. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and showed in that defense. Standing over his opponent here and making these strikes count. Beautiful sequence there by Nurmago Medov. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Offense keeps going for it. Defenders held up every step of the way. Yeah, the defense has done a great job just making sure he leaves nothing long, no submission attempts. Even when they get him, he continues to stay calm. Attempting a choke now. Oh, that Darce choke is tight. Darce choke locked in. It's only a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent so that he doesn't lose him in the scramble. Nicely done. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax. Gotta be careful here. Oh, big shots from the top. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. About two minutes here to go in round three. All right, side control now. Khabib's able to transition back to side control now. Oh, right to the mouth. Posture's up now and lands the vicious head strike. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, now he's gonna find himself in a little more danger. Now potentially working on a submission instead. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Attack an armbar. Oh, how good is that as he gets it's out? That is great spot. submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Please punch right there. Takedown defense. The fighters separate. Pretty good jab there by Nurmago Medov. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of when he's fresh. 
All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. That Kimura looks tight. He's got a Craig Nalvo, John. He's got him in position. Now he's got to go find the finish. Oh, it looked pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Right to the on belly. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, All right, that's God. three rounds in the books. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was for him, DC. And look at him walking back to that corner. He's feeling himself a little bit. Oh, he's feeling himself. And look at his coaches. They're all celebrating because they know that if they stay the course, if they do the exact same thing, they may be able to find the finish this time. All right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready, fight? You ready? Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now on the way as we get to the championship round. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute of the fight? This is when you understand that nothing is ever going to be hard. This is the hardest round in fighting. This is going to really test your will and your desire to become champion. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Takedown defense holds up. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Big inside kick. The issue with that kick, as effective as it is, one gets checked you have the Anderson Silva situation. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful. Whoa! Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh, he's got him in that corner. Oh, he's Push kick there to the body. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hip, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic shot. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. He's got the Kimura locked in now, but he's got to be patient. He's got to step over the head with the knee and then live slight movements to try to find the finishing position. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set is still tended to so that the guy doesn't escape from him. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. <laughs> He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. It looks like he's trying to get this arm triangle. All he's gotta do is get to the side, get his chest down to the mat, and he'll get the finish. Yeah. This has gotta be the end of the fight. That's tight. Oh, he got out! He actually bridged, got his hips up in the air, used his momentum to take him back towards the opponent's feet, chest down to the mat to get out of that deep submission attempt. While landing several strikes here from the top, standing over his opponent. Good work here by Vermago Meadow. He passes the half guard. Well, the ground.
ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Navago Meadow. Oh, nice. Nice job to get inside and get the single collar tie. And blocks that hard punch. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Uppercuts right on the chin. All right, so another... Oh! Nice defense. I thought that punch might go. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice. Marco Medoff's looking for a Darsh choke here. That Darsh choke is tight. Submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this, you're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Here go. we go, fifth and final round. Shots landing from the top position. He's got to start throwing now. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. He's working on the arm bar. Oh, that's tight. Ooh, strong grip on the arm. Look at him with all that pressure starting to get tight. Oh, so how about that? The offensive fighter bails on the submission now. Very smart. You got to keep position over submission. Khabib's got the full mount. Oh, he could be a one-eyed fighter here pretty soon. That left eye starting to shut. This is a terrible position. You can't take all those unanswered strikes. They don't have to be that damaging. Yeah. You just got to move. Outstanding work with the ground and pound here by Nermago Meadow. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Nermago Medoff's back in full mount. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Nice positional control here. Gonna try to take his opponents back here, and he does. Lands with the ground and pound. Again, not much defense there. Another ground strike gets through. 
Moving his head on the ground here, avoiding a lot of these big shots. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're gonna be able to do much with that cut. It continues to widen with every passing stroke. And you're fighting a great fighter. It's hard to deal with the damage of the cut while dealing with the... Back mount now. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of hope. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Relentless pressure from the top by Namago Mena. So we go under a minute to go in the fight. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Well, nothing in the unified rules says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Namago Medov's back in full now. Nice shot there by the champ. Oh, setting up another submission now. What a tight arm bar. Trying to finish the arm bar. Now, all he's got to do now is get his hips up into the back of the elbow to get the finish. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Wow, he is landing time and time again on that cut. Waiting seconds of this fight. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, staying busy for some time. What a fight! 25 minutes turned in. All right, Ladies the and gentlemen, decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buck. We go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 49 46, 48 47, and 48 47. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Don! All right, so how about it? There is a new baddest man on the planet. There he is, the now undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. He thought he was gonna get the champion out of there tonight. He thought he'd get the finish. Instead, he needs all five rounds to get the job done here tonight, but the judges saw it his way. A monumental result here tonight in Las Vegas as we crown a new UFC heavyweight champion.